tragedy struck. This game doesn't explicitly tell you the year it's in, but sound of an ambulance, the beeps from medical equipment in a hospital, uh, certainly uh, lend credence to the idea, really credibility, whichever word you want to want to use, <laughs> um, so that it, it could happen sometime recently, I guess. I guess it almost doesn't matter. So, Beyond Eyes is a hmm how can I describe this obviously uh, it's in third person uh, it's an exploration game where you control a young girl named Ray and as you just saw uh, there's some happy times some good times and she unfortunately lost her sight and as a cat whom she calls Nani who comes to visit her and the jingle you hear is a bell around uh, the cat's collar, which she certain—it's basically tattooed to her, to her brain. So she she knows that little jingle of the bell, and she likes the cat. The cat is something that she comes to rely on. It's a a pleasant surprise. Oh, I spoiled it for you. I already said Nani. See, I'm sorry. I'm messing up already. So you see, as you walk around the world, it fills in. It's beautiful. Um, it's very calming and relaxing uh, experience. So, the cat being a cat uh, isn't always the most reliable. It kind of shows up <laughs> when it does. And she does look forward to it. As well as she should. I can't but wonder where the rest of the people in her life are, but somebody brought her to the hospital. Somebody was having a, a party or a gathering that she attended, so she's cared for. I guess by whom is really important. It's, it's reasonable to, to understand that as Nani comes and goes, Ray doesn't always know if and when Nani will be coming back. So winter came, and then winter's gone, and she can't find Nani. So the game is pretty much you walking around, trying to find find your friend. So I don't know where the supervision is, but she exits the gate of the home and embarks on a, on a journey to find Nani. And in her mind, because she could see, uh, she has an idea of what of what things look like. So she tries to figure out where where a cat would go. Sometimes she hears things and the reality is quite different from what she imagines them to be. If you hear running water and you can't see, you don't know what it is. But that's a mild thing. Some things are a little more shocking. A little more frightening for her. And when Ray is afraid, the objects she's afraid of kind of become like a wall. And you can't really interact with them. You can't go any further. You need to find a way around them in order to... Uh, to make progress. So Ray thinks she senses a car. In reality, it's somebody mowing their lawn. I found Beyond Eyes to be a very enjoyable game. 
my issue with it is that it's difficult to describe to someone because when you describe it or you walk around the world kind of comes together they're probably thinking well why would I want to play that it is a fun experience it doesn't last that long which is probably for the better um, I know the term walking simulator has been thrown around a lot uh, you do a lot of walking and because you are a small blind girl you walk fairly slowly which makes sense given the character that you're controlling Beyond Eyes is a fun experience, but the game part of it isn't, well, it's best to go in knowing what it is. If you want to walk around and just explore things and listen to the music and just feel the tranquility, great. But if you want something that's really engaging and involved, from a gameplay standpoint, you're not going to find it. There's really no puzzles per se. Uh, I enjoyed it, but it's kind of tough to recommend for everybody. It, it, it's... There's an audience for it. I just don't know how large it is. Anyway, if you like this review, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, check out more stuff at GameWithUs.com. There's a review here on the left side here for Ethan, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. And the right side is Curses and Chaos for the PS4. So, I guess that's it. Subscribe. Watch something else. Leave a comment. Say something nice for a change. Or something at all for a change. Okay, I begged enough. I'm out of here.